Rory, we'd love to know a little bit about you. Where were you born? Um, so I was actually born in London, um, in Wimbledon. Oh. oh, sorry, it's not on. So, let's do that one. So sorry. Hello. There we are, there we are, there we are. It's Where you, you were born? Go on, yeah. Um, I was born in London, in Wimbledon, Roehampton, um, but I grew up in the New Forest in a beautiful little town called Lymington. Fantastic. And uh, brothers and sisters? Yes, lots. Um, I have a sister um, who's currently in New York, and I have a sister who's right here. Fantastic. There she is. <laughs> yeah, a big hand. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I, my sister's sitting with my mum and my stepdad as well. It's lovely to have them here today. Um, and I also have a brother who's in South Africa at the moment and a younger, very small brother and sister who live in London with my dad. So tons, tons of siblings. Yeah, big family. fantastic. <laughs> and Victoria, growing up, would you have described yourself as a Christian, as a practicing Christian? Uh, no, not at all. Um, we, my, my dad is very... Um, atheist. So, in fact, I think when I first told him about Jesus, he said, don't be ridiculous. Um, you know, there's, there's no such thing and you are absolutely almost not allowed to go there. <laughs> so, I would say that I was not a Christian, um, but I was curious, hmm. always curious, and um, explored other faiths, explored other spirits, spirituality stuff, lots of philosophy, yeah. kind of always very interested in. And as part of that sort of journey of, of exploration, you did the Alpha course? I did, yes. When I met um, Joel, who is a wonderful man, um, I kind of fell in love with him. And <laughs> um, it turned out that he's a Christian. And I thought at that point, if, you know, if this is going to go anywhere, I need to decide what it's all about and whether mm. I'm going to do it with him or whether mm. I'm going to graciously say, go and do it by yourself. Um, so I went to an Alpha course, and actually it turns out that two of my Alpha leaders are here tonight. Oh, wow. Where are they? Wait. There Hi. they are. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so I did an Alpha, which was a really amazing way of just kind of um, engaging with what Christianity is really all about. Yeah. We had access to loads of resources and interesting things yeah. to read about and stuff, so... Cool. It was good. And then we met about, it was about two years ago? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. And you came to see me because you'd, you'd read a book that had got you thinking. Yeah, I, yes. I, I read lots of books that got me thinking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was kind of, th and I, I read lots of books that got me thinking. And then what happened was I actually came here, I came to your church, and there was a service which was led by you and Pat. Um, and as I was sitting here, I was inexplicably and... Um, unpredictably overwhelmed by what you told me afterwards was the Holy Spirit. Um, and what I had read, it felt like it was the Holy Spirit. Um, and I was, I was quite overwhelmed hmm. by it all. Um, and so I came to talk to you about it and decided that, you know, what, what I was thinking was one thing, but what I was feeling and experiencing was a completely different thing. Hmm. So I decided to give it a go and come along and kind of read the Bible and see if it made sense and see if what it's written actually adds up to what happens in reality. Hmm. So it's almost as if you'd had an experience of your heart, as it were, and then your head began to catch up. Yeah, <laughs> which I think is often the way. <laughs> And what difference has knowing Jesus personally through his spirit, what difference has he made to you? Um, it's just, it's huge really. It's, um, in three words, it would be like a liberation, um, inspiration, I was thinking, and most importantly, love. Hmm. So it's almost as though like, how I feel now and how I live now and how I see things now is more real hmm. and more alive. Um, and the way I was thinking about it, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a like, creative-minded person, but the way I was thinking about it the other day was that it's almost as though you can kind of walk through life and walk through a place and tangibly feel love in the air wherever you are and it's like things are more beautiful and sometimes I'll be praying and or worshipping and it will be like the whole room is filled with gold and glitter <laughs> like, um, or like yeah. you know just so rich yeah. rich colours and rich beauty and rich relationships it's yeah. like it's like being able to pray and knowing that 
knowing that Jesus is real and knowing that God is real, it is just amazing. Wonderful. Life in Technicolor. Life in Technicolor, yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Listen, Victor, just before you go and sit down, I'm going to, as, as this is your baptism, this is yes. the, the moment where you formally belong to the Christian church, I'm going to ask you three questions. The answer to each is I do. Okay. <laughs> do you believe and trust in God the Father? I do. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? I do. Do you look for the daily inspiration of the Holy Spirit? I do. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Have a seat.